Thank you for joining us. We're going to be talking about how to increase hip mobility and thoracic spine mobility to influence your turn in the backswing and the downswing. Just because we're aging and playing golf doesn't mean we have to sacrifice mobility and performance on and off the golf course. Here's a few simple exercises you can follow along with. Our first exercise is seated hip internal rotation. We're looking for 45 degrees, which is what my golf club is set at to my left. The right hip internally rotates in the backswing and the left hip internally rotates in the downswing. Our next exercise is to give you full access to the range of motion in the thoracic spine. You're going to start out by rotating and then side bending to your left. You're going to take a nice deep breath in, come up, rotate more, and then side bend again. Most of us never rotate through our full range of motion, so this exercise is designed to give you full rotation along with side bending. This is exactly the same motion that we need to go through in the golf swing. So coordinating it both ways is very, very important for an aging golfer. Our last exercise is perform standing. You'll take a golf club across your shoulders. Your objective here is to maintain spine angle as you rotate into your backswing, and then you're going to step out with your left foot at the same time. I'm going to show you this from another angle. As you can see from this angle, as I rotate into my backswing and step out to the left, I create some separation between my lower body and my upper body. This allows us to create a coil and generate the right sequencing and some more power in the golf swing.